So the apostles yesterday heard that in Samaria, people repented and believed in Jesus Christ. So they sent Peter and John to Samaria to baptize them in the Holy Ghost. And today we're going to see the gift of God is free and that it can't be bought. And it can't also come if you're still living in sin. And we're going to hear for the first time repentance. So important in a Christian walk. Acts chapter 8, verse 18. And when Simon saw that through laying on the apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. 19. Saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. 20. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. 21. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. 22. Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness, and pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. 23. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. 24. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me. 25. And they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages of the Samaritans. Simon heard Philip testify about Jesus Christ and did signs and wonders. Then came Peter and John, and Simon saw how the people started receiving the Holy Ghost, and he wanted to be a part of it. But his heart wasn't in the right place. You see, he thought he could purchase his way into heaven, his way into God's forgiving heart. But Peter told him, no, you can't buy your way into this. Your heart has to be in the right place, but it's filled with bitterness and iniquity. So then Simon said, please pray for me that these things not be of me. So the first thing that we have to do as new believers, because Simon was a new believer, that he actually had to do something to earn his way into God's grace. So if you think you have to do something like follow the law or do good things or even purchase your way into grace, you can see that that's not possible. You do have to repent because that's what the apostles sent Simon to do. Repent, turn from your sin, walk toward Jesus, walk toward the free gift of God, which is Holy Spirit.